Hi there, so I'm going to do a book review for you. This is going to be on How to Eat a Cupcake by Meg Donahue. I'll just start by reading the blurb for you. Funny, free-spirited Annie Quintana and sophisticated, ambitious Julia St. Clair comes to from two different worlds. Yet, as the daughter of the St. Clair's housekeeper, Annie grew up in Julia's San Francisco mansion and they forged a bond that only two little girls who knew nothing of class, differences and scholarship could, until a life-altering betrayal destroyed their relationship. A decade later, Annie is now a talented, if underpaid, pastry chef who bakes to fill the void left in her heart by her mother's death. Julia, a, a successful businesswoman, is tormented by a painful secret that could jeopardise her engagement to the man she loves. When a chance reunion prompts the unlikely duo to open a cupcakery, they must overcome past hurts and a mysterious saboteur or risk losing their fledging business and any chance of healing their fractured friendship. So this is one of the best chick lit books I have read this year. Um, definitely on one of my favourites lists um, of all time. Um, absolutely amazing, amazing book. It was very easy to get into. Um, I did feel quite hungry a lot of the way through. And for some reason I had a craving for cupcakes. Not quite sure why. Or maybe it was the title, I don't know. So we've got Annie, who is the main character, really, in this story, who her mother was the housekeeper in the St. Clair household, and um, she obviously grew up in this in this world. Um, and it's not the usual kind of, you know, house housekeeper and m main house relationship. I mean, they all seem very friendly i mean even annie when she was growing up she was actually sent by the st clairs to a a a posh school the same one that julia the daughter the, the the um the main daughter um went to um so this 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 story very much centers on the relationship between annie and um and annie um who's the housekeeper's daughter and julia st clair um they both, I mean, both grew up together, were great friends, and then something happens that you do find out, which kind of, you know, broke their friendship. And it's, it's, um, this, this story is following them to kind of, you know, seeing what happens when they, these two are brought together again. And obviously, this, this story has an element of romance in it as well. Um, and 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 a bit of bit of a bit of mystery as well because we've got this saboteur saboteur. Um, obviously, they um, Annie and Julia open a cupcakery. Annie is the 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 um, the creative one who actually makes the cakes, and Julia is the businesswoman. Um, and they've they, I think from the minute they start up this 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 cupcakery, they have someone who who is. Um, vandalising their place and, you know, trying to scare them away. So you've got this, you've got this bit of um, kind of a mystery as to what's going on and why is this person trying to ruin their cupcakery business. Um, there is obviously sad elements in this as well because Annie lo lo lost her mother um, while she was while she was quite young and and it was. You know, some of this story is about Annie and how she, you know, tries to overcome her loss. Annie does, certainly at the beginning of the book, um, carry a lot of hurt on her shoulder, on her shoulders, um, from losing her mum and, and various different things. And it, it was interesting to read about her journey in this story as, as you know, she starts off with this you know, thing on her shoulders and, and different various problems. And, um, you know, it was very interesting to find out what she does about them. Of course, there's another another side to the story as well. You, I mean, we mainly follow Annie's character, but there is a, there is a sideline story of Julia's character, who she was a, she was a, 
businesswoman living out in some city um, or wherever, um, and she's she's left her job. She's come back to the family home. Not quite sure why. Um, she's engaged to be married to a chap called Wes, and um, I don't know there's different things that happen, and um, you find out more about her relationship with with Wes and how that kind of pans out. So with this book, it's got a lot of great twists and turns, and a really, really kind of kind of. This book, when I finished it, left me with a left me with a happy feeling that I absolutely loved. And I did have a cupcake right after finishing that book. That was, that was my reward. Sorry for the bang there. My cat's trying to get into the wardrobe. Um, so yeah, that is my review. I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10 because it was absolutely amazing. Thanks for watching.